Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're talking all things Scions and I'm giving you an honest review, so stay tuned. Hello and welcome back. I'm finally home. You can see that I'm all set up. I'm using actually my phone because my camera has a few problems, but it's fine. Um, and today I just wanted to give you a review on Scions, the book that I have been working on with uh, the Star Squad to like release and do the publishing and stuff. And Josephine Angelini, the, the writer, has been so nice and giving given us an arc so we can start reading. And the release on, is on the 4th of October and I really wanted to do a review before that so that people can know if it's worth investing in it and what type of book it is. And it's pretty much Daphne, um, the mother of Helen from the Starcross series, if you have read the Starcross series before. Um, Daphne in her teens in New York of 1993, uh, falling madly in love with Ajax. Ajax is part of the Delos family and the House of Thebes and Daphne is um, a part of the House of Atreus and she's the daughter of Zeus and they, both of them are Scion's descendants from gods and they're half gods so that's what it's all about it's about um, families being against each other not being able to meet and it's about supernatural stuff and um, it's about love it's about star-crossed love enemies to lovers and what else like there are so many aspects to it. It's teenage angst trying to figure yourself out. It's objectification from others because Daphne has the face, which is the face of Helen of Troy back then. Um, so it's pretty much uh, the story of Helen's mom and her love story with Ajax. Um, and for anyone that is a fan of the Starcross series, it is a prequel. So there will be um, a continuation of Helen's story later on with Timeless and then we will get Outcasts and then the last book, I think, if I'm not giving any wrong information right now. And what did I think about all of this? Okay, so overall, I loved the characters and Daphne is such a difficult character and she's so complex and to be honest you don't like her at all in the Starcross series and now we get the perspective of hers and it's in the first person uh, like the narrator is first person as well so you're so close to her and you understand her way better and Ajax is just the darling like he's the golden boy he's the darling of everyone and I understand why he's artistic he's smart he's good looking he's so honest about everything and he's he's just a dream boy so you will fall in love with him and i feel like you should just read him that like you should just read it for him as well <laughs> so um yeah the the characters are very vivid um very well written um it, it adds so much life in the story and then we have Harlow which is Daphne's best friend and yeah what else do we have we have so many interesting characters we have Daphne struggling with her dad as well and with just the weight that comes with being the face and how much she doesn't really have anyone close to her and then we have Deuce. Deuce is uh, the family part that is actually looking out for her while her mom is not there and stuff. It's it's so nice to have these different characters and like to have these difficulties that Daphne is going through as a teen. And I just loved the scenery of New York at that time as well. And Josie was talking about how she was studying in New York at that time. And I feel like you can see that she has an actual like connection to that and that she knows what she's writing about. And I really, really love that. 
Um, and that is really interesting how Daphne uh, just has all these superpowers and for Helen back then it was like such an abnormality to understand that she's a half god and like for Daphne it's so normal because she has always known it and it's such an interesting perspective change. Um, yeah, I will not get too much into like the actual plot um, because I don't want to uh, spoiler anyone. But honestly, I feel like it's a very good example for uh, enemies to lovers that doesn't feel forced. And they're not enemies to like they're not enemies for a very long time either way. It's just pretty much the story that keeps happening and happening. And it's very authentic to the Greek mythology as well because um, this idea of the Furies and bloodlust and like the curse that people have to go through in these houses and they don't stop killing each other pretty much. Um, it's just, it adds so much complexity into, into the love of the two characters. Um, and I really enjoyed that. I really loved that Scions can stand on its own. Yeah, um, it's part of a bigger piece, but it can stand on its own. And I think that's really special about the book. Um, what I also loved was just the scenery. And when I see the aesthetic of like graffiti and the music and all of it was super vivid and it really took you back into that time. Yeah, just, just through her writing, you get yourself teleported there. And I think that's really, really, really cool. Yeah, what else do I think? I love the character development. Um, Daphne is a very interesting character. She has to go through a lot of object uh, uh, objectification, the struggles of just being that supernatural um, accepting love in your life, understanding that not every guy is an absolute pervert because like she has to deal with having Helen of Troy's face um, and Ajax is the golden boy and he has to deal with all of that pressure and um, and what it does to him and like being an, an artist and finding your way through love and through everything pretty much and family and honor and family are so important and like they want to be together but they cannot throw everything out of, out of the window and yeah it's just it's difficult and you can see the difficulty in their character development um yeah and it's just really really good writing to be honest also like for helen and lucas fans there is a sneak peek of them um so we actually get to see them before Timeless again, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, all in all, amazing characters, vivid scenery, um, really, really good romance, amazing, amazing plot, <laughs> just ups and downs, um, teenage angst, a lot of teenage angst, some spicy scenes, um, and in general, just a really good book for Greek mythology fans, fans of enemies to lovers, fans of YA um, overall, and especially Starcross fans, obviously. So yeah, this was my review. I hope you like it. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching and see you in the next